This edition of Seagull Soundbites is powered by APPI Energy. Partner with APPI for powerful solutions. Welcome to this edition of Seagull Soundbites powered by Appy Energy. I'm Christian Payne of SFMSports.net and today on this beautiful day here at Seagull Stadium, I'm joined by Junior Retapal and Senior Zach Hill. And let me tell you what, these two attackmen have done a great job all season long, especially in the Seagulls' huge 17-5 victory over Roanoke on Sunday. So that's where we'll start, and I'll start with you, Rhett. You had an absolutely great day, four goals in that game. You know, your offense came out just blazing hot, 10 goals in the first half. So talk about what you guys did well against a very tough and solid Roanoke program on Sunday. Well, Coach you know, told us before the game that it was really time for our attack to step up and, and show them what we're capable of doing and why we got recruited to come here. Um, but, you know, we stayed to our basics, moved the ball around quick, uh, and everything kind of just fell into place, and, and we scored goals one after another, and it felt good. Red Paul with four goals. The Seagulls with ten goals in the first half, and the big victory. And, Zach, you're also part of that goal-scoring crew. You uh, stuck a nice shot of your own. So talk about the confidence that your attack unit has kind of been building so far this spring, and you have to leave uh, you know, plenty of room for your confidence to grow for a tough schedule here in 2013. So talk about your unit and how you guys are growing a little bit. Well, I mean, it comes down to practice every day. I mean, everyone's firing on the same cylinders, and that, you know, when you go out to practice, practice 100% every day. Uh, you, you kind of build that confidence, and then it all starts to show when you come, come to game time. So, I mean, that is, you know, attributed to how hard we go at, we go at each other in practice, and it's attributed to the defense for getting out after us. Well, that's great stuff. And switching gears a little bit, let's look to Colorado College, your next opponent right here at Seagull Stadium. Going to be a nice atmosphere, you know, under the lights. But you guys are going to be facing a tough defense for the Tigers. You know, they've uh, let up less than five goals in their past three, three wins. So it's going to be a tough assignment. How are you guys going to get it done against Colorado College? Well, a lot of it has to do, I think, with uh, every day we go against the best defense in the country. So that gives us a lot of confidence going against whoever we're going to play. Um, I don't think we're going to get away from what we do, and we're just going to move the ball around, stay in our set plays, and, and just play with the confidence, you know, especially coming off of that Roanoke win like, that, like we did. So I don't really see doing anything really different. It's just uh, we all got to just play as a team. That's how we're going to win. And uh, finally, back over to you, Zach. You're a local guy, Parkside High School graduate. Um, so you've seen the game develop quite a bit, especially here on the Eastern Shore and also across the East Coast. And Colorado College coming in, you know, that's kind of going to be a showcase of how much the sport of lacrosse has grown. So what does that mean to you to be a part of this program, to kind of be a part of uh, how Division Three lacrosse especially is growing across the nation? Well, it's awesome, you know, coming here when I was younger, playing for such a youth program that was so small, no one knew what lacrosse was going through, you know, elementary school, and now it's going across the country. It's, you know, it's a testament of how well the sport's been growing. Guys like Sam Bradman, Kyle Harrison getting out there and just growing the sport. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see. Well, uh, thanks so much, guys, and uh, best of luck against the Tigers uh, here on Seagull Stadium. going to be a great game. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right, have a good one. Under the lights here at Seagull Stadium does not get much better than that, folks. So this segment of Seagull Soundbites has been powered by Appy Energy. For SFMSports.net, I'm Christian Payne.